Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today I'll be doing a game maker tutorial, teaching you how to make an advanced menu in Game Maker. You can do this in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. So by advanced menu, I mean we won't be using the mouse to select the items in the menu. We'll use the keyboard, arrow keys to scroll down, and press the space bar to activate whichever item we're on, such as start game or exit button. So in my menu, I have three different, I'm going to have three different buttons. Now this tutorial might be two or three, two videos long, probably if I don't finish it. I'll try to do this. So first I have my start engine button, which is just like the start game button in this case. So start engine. And now each of your buttons should, must have two different sub-images. One when it's not selected. One when it's not the current item being scrolled over. And one when the one when it's selected. So this is when it's normal and not selected. This one is when it's selected. Such as if I press, such as if the game starts off at, on the start engine button, the start engine button will be blue. If I press the down button, it'll go to the next one, and the start engine will become black with black text. You'll, you'll, uh, it'll be explained better when I'm actually doing it. But just know, each of them should have two different sub-images. One when it's not selected, and one when it is selected. For each button, I have a quit engine button. So quit engine, two sub-images. And I also have a help button, which will lead to my help screen. Now, I'm only using three different buttons. You can have much more in your game if you like. But I'm only using three. The concept is still the same. Okay. So that's been taken care of. So what we're going to do, we're going to create an object. I already have this menu control from my last tutorial about sounds. So what we're going to do, first, we're going to create objects for each, di for each of the items that we have. So I'm going to create obj underscore menu underscore start. I'm going to give it the start game button main menu, start, add event, create event, control, execute code. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this tutorial will require heavy coding. Everything will be done in code, and it will be a lot of code. So, be warned. So what we're going to put, we're going to put image underscore index equals zero. So when it's created, it starts off on being black text, having black text instead of blue to show that it's not selected. Also, we want image underscore speed equals zero. Okay, and that's it for now. We'll be coming back to it. But what we have to do now, we'll duplicate it two times. We'll change the sprite to sprite underscore quick. Rename it obj underscore menu underscore quit and duplicate it again change the sprite to my final one help obj underscore menu underscore help so now I'm going to go to my menu control I'm going to edit the create event I already have a code button in here so I'll just go into it. This is the sound for it. So I'll just separate it. Add a whole bunch of slashes. Menu. I call them menu variables. Okay, that's good. Point across. So first we'll have global dot start equals true. So when it's created. The first op the option that will be highlighted will be the start game option. We we'll also have global dot help equals false, which is the variable for the help button, and global dot quit equals false. 
So we'll have start engine, help button, oh wait no, quit engine. So global.start equals true, global.help equals false, and global.quit equals false. So the first button that will be highlighted will be the start button. The first button that will be selected will be the start button. So now let's go back to our objects and edit them. We have obj underscore menu underscore start. So let's add an event, step, step event, control, execute more code. Now here we have if global.start equals true, open bracket, image underscore index equals one. So it will turn blue. Image underscore index just basically means the sub image. So the sub image will be image one, which is blue. Scratch our code. Image underscore index equals one. Image semicolon. Image underscore speed equals zero. So it's not move. The sub image isn't changing around. In closing bracket. Now we're going to copy this. Control C. Then we're going to paste it. Control V. We're going to add a exclamation mark, which is over the one. So you have to press shift, then one. If not, global.start. Adding a semicolon means it not. So basically, if, if, if global.start is not true, change the image underscore index to zero, so it'll be black, and image underscore speed to zero. So the image won't be moving. Okay. Now we can hold on to this, so we'll just copy this for our other events. Let's go add them to the other events, the quit button, add event step, step, and just paste it in. And change the variables to quit. And quit again. Time passes by quick. Add event step, step, control, Went up, paste. This time it's help. Global dot help. Okay, and there we have it for our different buttons. We can add them into the main menu room. So I have my main menu room right here. This is what it looks like. Make sure your control object obj underscore menu underscore control that I have is in the side of the game. Mine is right here. I'll make sure it's in the game and add an instance of each of the objects. We're not done yet, so don't try the engine out. We're not done yet. Uh, the help button next. And quit. Okay, there we go. So I'll probably add more buttons later in the future. So that's what we have so far. Next we have to add the menu controls. So we'll have to go to our menu control object, which is, in my case, obj underscore menu underscore control, where we put that big list of variables. Next we want to add an event, step, step event, control, execute code. Now we're going to add the menu controls, which is what happens when we press the up key and the down key to scroll down through the available options. So it's called slash slash menu controls slash 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 slash. Okay. So now we're going to add the menu controls, but I see everybody got a time, so I have to separate this into two parts. So this has been an original We Try This production. Make sure to watch part two. Really great stuff. See ya.